20 years ago, Reuben and Nelson met at language classes. Neither had worked in the food industry before. Being of a Portuguese background, lots of people would always ask us, where can we get a good Portuguese tart in Melbourne? And there wasn't really, you know, anywhere in Melbourne that we thought that represented in the way that they should be. And I think for me, that's when we kind of thought that if they already love what they're eating at the moment, imagine if they had what it's really like over there. That's what it was for me. So inspired by the love and demand for the tarts from their homeland, Nelson, a painter, and Ruben, a phone repairer, decided to set up shop. We went to Portugal to try a lot of different Portuguese tarts and I was trained by a pastry chef on how to laminate pastry. The most critical is just that you move fast. We're working with butter. Um, so we just got to make sure that the layers don't infuse together. So I'm imagining when you told everybody you were opening this business, there was a lot of, so just tarts? Before we opened, that, that was the biggest thing we kept hearing. Just yeah, tarts. Just tarts. Just tarts. Nothing just tarts. Else. But then after we opened this store, we opened our second store and no one said that. What is so special about a Portuguese tart? The pastry, the custard coming together. Once you start, you just want another bite of another one and just next thing you know, it's just two, three, four, bang. You see them coming out of the oven, you can't get any fresher than what we're doing. It's a very visual thing, what we're doing here. So we like that everyone can see the whole process from laminating to making them by hand, then getting loaded with custard, then getting loaded into the oven, and then obviously out for our customers to eat. I just like to watch people have their, their first Portuguese tart. I'd rather not tell you and just, I don't know, just watch. I'm excited. Enjoy. Enjoy. Mm. Oh, my God. <laughs> that is amazing. Thank you. Yeah. I think this is a life-changing moment for me. <laughs>